Who knew that the Philippines would give us a really cute romantic movie? So A Far Away Land is a new movie that just got released on Netflix. It's a Filipino film. I believe it came out last year, but it's just getting sort of like a global release now. It's a romantic drama centered around these two characters, Nico, who is from the Philippines and he's like a reporter, a documentarian, and Majoy. She's the woman that he is filming for this documentary series. She's one of the Filipino women who have moved to the Fayor Islands to marry the locals there because there is a lack of women on the islands. So starts this slow romantic build up between the two characters and it ultimately becomes like a love triangle between Marjoy and her husband and Marjoy and Nico. But there's not a lot of conflict because we don't actually see Marjoy's husband for a lot of the film. He's at the very start and then he's there at the very end as well because he goes away on some business. And overall, this movie was really good. I had a really good time watching this movie, surprisingly. I just put it on because I'm like, you know what? Let's just have a look at it. it it's probably going to be schlock. It's rated PG. And it was surprisingly really funny. Like, a lot of the dialogue was really witty and really funny. The place where it's shot is beautiful. Cinematography is really nice. The acting is all really, really good. Everyone seemed super believable and natural in their roles. And I thought the relationship between Nico and Marjoy was really natural. And it just felt like it was happening the way it would have happened in real life. So if you took this from outside of the film, this is probably how those two types of characters would have actually interacted with each other. There were a few things in this film that didn't probably need to be there that took up just a little bit of extra time, like Marjoy's sort of a strained relationship between her and her mother. We only saw that for really one scene and that was it. It just kind of felt like, well, we've only talked about it for this one scene and then it's gone for the rest of the film. Overall, what happens in that scene, there is weight given to it throughout the film, but it is one of those things that if that scene didn't happen, you still would have understood the weight that was behind what was said. It didn't necessarily need to be shown to us for us to understand how much Marjoy cares about her own daughter and whatnot. I had a great time. I would really recommend watching this one. If you guys are into like your romantic drama comedy type films and you want something different to watch, go for this one. I totally recommend it. That's why I'm gonna give A Faraway Land 8 out of 10. I'm really surprised by how much I enjoyed this film. Have you guys seen A Faraway Land? Comment down below, let me know. Tell me what you guys thought about it or if you plan on watching it now after this review. It's really cool to see a Filipino film. I've never seen one before and if this is the quality that we're gonna get from Filipino films on Netflix, then chuck them my way, send them to me. That's all I wanna watch right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, that was the review. Hope you really enjoyed it. As always, click through to another video and we'll keep having some fun. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.